Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. We'll be in the fourth chapter of the book of Acts today, beginning in the fifth verse, Acts chapter 4, verse 5. There we see, this is on the next day, the rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem. Uh, we have here the hit squad. Uh, this is uh, all the Jewish leadership, uh, what amounts to the same group uh, that had been organized uh, against Christ uh, during uh, his trials. Uh, now they bring uh, Peter and John uh, in uh, to question them uh, about the acts that, uh, that they uh, had uh, been part of uh, we, um, they, for their teaching in the temple and uh, for what they had been saying. And they want to know, verse, uh, verse uh, 6, or I didn't go far enough in reading about the hit squad, Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, uh, all who were the high priestly family. Uh, again, the hit squad. Uh, verse 7 says, when they set them in the midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Uh, they want to know, um, who authorized you? Uh, who, who, who told you uh, to do these things? Um, and uh, who, uh, who sent you? Um, who is the authority behind you? Uh, they didn't think Peter and John were uh, schooled enough, wise enough, in the right clique, uh, whatever. Uh, and so they want to know who, who's behind this. Uh, we don't think you're the ringleader. We want to know who is behind uh, what you're teaching, what you're doing. Well, they asked. And so Peter, in verse 8, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are being examined today concerning a good deed done to a crippled man, by what means this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man is standing before you. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders which has become the cornerstone. Uh, and so uh, they asked, he answered. Uh, he says, I want you to know uh, this crippled man stands here uh, because of the name of Jesus. He could have stopped there, but he doesn't. He goes on, he says, he is the one, in case y'all have forgotten, uh, he is the one you, you, crucified. Not the Romans. If you remember, uh, the Jews didn't have the authority to crucify. They didn't have the authority to give the death penalty. So they had to pass it off uh, and ask the Romans to do it. But uh, Peter's not letting them pass the book. You crucified him. Just as sure as you had the hammer and the nails in your hand, you crucified him. But know this, you may have crucified him, but God raised him from the dead, whom God uh, raised uh, from the dead. He makes no uh, question uh, of uh, of who uh, you know of who did what in this uh, scenario, and you crucified him. God raised him, and by His power, this lame man, this formerly lame man, is now standing here uh, in perfect health. And then he goes back and he quotes uh, a and says that Jesus was a fulfillment of Psalm 118 verse 22, that this is the stone that was rejected and he has become the cornerstone. The cornerstone is the stone that the entire building uh, depends on. Uh, everything else has to line up uh, to that building. And then uh, I guess you could say the cherry on top. He says, and there is salvation in no one else, and there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Uh, that is probably one of the most explicit, uh, clear-cut sermons, uh, presentations uh, of the gospel uh, that we have not only recorded in the Bible, but perhaps uh, ever been uh, given by any preacher, by anyone who, uh, who ever uh, has stood uh, to proclaim uh, the, the Word of God. Peter probably preached the most concise, 
spot on sermon uh, that has ever been preached. And it is a great outline, a great pattern for us uh, of what we should be teaching, what we should be proclaiming uh, in the world today. Uh, The good news of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Peter was saying that Jesus, the Messiah, uh, he is the Messiah. Uh, There's no doubt who Jesus is. Uh, It was Jesus that was crucified uh, and uh, that y'all killed the Messiah. Uh, It was uh, Jesus, the Messiah, that God raised from the dead. And now there is no other name uh, whereby man must be saved. And uh, what a great message. Uh, That needs to be the message that we proclaim uh, as we go in and out uh, in our world today, there are a lot of people uh, who, uh, a lot of different religions, a lot of different things springing up, uh, claiming a lot of things, uh, but we need to be preaching and teaching uh, the message of Peter. There is no other name uh, whereby man must be saved but the name of Jesus Christ. Today, if you don't know him, uh, let me encourage you to invite him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Love to talk to you about that. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Information will be uh, at the end of uh, the uh, video today and uh, love to hear from you if you'd like to know more about asking Christ into your heart because there is no other name whereby man must be saved than the name of Jesus Christ. Have a great day. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.